The United Service Organizations, better known as the USO, is letting our nation's troops know how much America appreciates them this holiday. For more, I'm joined by Sloan Gibson, the CEO of the USO. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Chris. Okay, uh, we're in the middle of a recession, all right? How much has that affected? We ask people all the time, how much does this affect you? How much does it affect the USO? You know, our, our core support comes from a million and a half Americans uh, that give relatively small amounts day in and day out. And that support has remained steady uh, throughout this period of time. Uh, on an even brighter note, uh, the support from corporations and major donors is up about 30% year over year. I, I don't attribute that to the USO. I think that's all about the American people and their support for our troops. How much, how much effort now do you, do you put into uh, reaching out to corporate America, reaching out to the individuals? Obviously, that's got to be a big part of what you do. It, it's a major part of what we do. Uh, we have great ambitions uh, for doing a lot more for our troops and their families. And in order to be able to fuel those ambitions, that means that we've got to work hard on the fundraising front. Speaking of doing what you do for the troops and their families, uh, we were talking before we went on. I don't think there's been a time since the end of World War II where American servicemen and women have been spread out around the globe as much as they are right now. How difficult does that make your job? Well, uh, it is. Uh, we have a, a global presence. We've got a, over 135 centers all over the world. We're doing 60 or 70 entertainment tours around the world every single uh, year, 500 to 600 performances or events. So there are things happening in almost every time zone around the mm -hmm. world. There are a few that we miss, and that's, that's a part of the challenge, but it's a part of the fun, too. When I think of the USO, I think of Bob Hope and Marilyn Monroe and World War II and the shows. Obviously, you're still doing those shows, but you've got to be doing a lot more, aren't you? Well, we are, uh, Chris. Part of our challenge is to constantly assess the needs of our troops and their families and make sure that we're meeting those most urgent needs. Think about it. Uh, some of the troops that need us the most today are deployed in some of these uh, small mm -hmm. unit forward operating bases or combat outposts uh, in Iraq or Afghanistan. And so we can't build a USO center in every one of those, so we've got to find ways to reach them. We've developed pr uh, programs like uh, USO in a Box. It's an air transportable mini USO center. Hmm. Has internet and telephones and video games and a place to watch movies. Uh, you can put that underneath, sling it underneath a helicopter and take it anywhere in the world. Now, I, this is your new magazine right here, On Patrol. I want to talk a little bit about this. If initial issue, I'll hold this up right here so you can see it. Uh, Gary Sinise is in here, and one of the things I, I, I was always interested in, how do you get these celebrities, whether they're performers, uh, musicians, actors, what have you, to go on tour with you? I mean, uh, do they volunteer? Do they come to you? How easy or difficult is that? Uh, it's, it's really quite easy. Many celebrities do volunteer, but we're constantly out mm -hmm. uh, talking with celebrities, talking with publicists, talking with agents. Uh, rarely, if ever, do we actually get a no. Oftentimes, the challenges we meet are more scheduled challenges uh, because these guys and gals, they understand how important it is to our troops. I, I, I tell celebrities when I'm out recruiting, you'll never perform, you'll never appear before a more appreciative audience. And they learn that firsthand when they go out for their first USO tour. All right, a few more seconds left. On Patrol, it's the new magazine. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, this is the magazine published by the USO that's not exactly about the USO. Mm -hmm. It really focuses more on the service and sacrifice of our troops and their families and the great people and organizations that are out there supporting them. Gives us a chance to tell America stories that we think America needs and wants to hear. Thank you, Sloan Gibson, President and CEO of USO. Alexis, back to you. All right, Chris, great story. Coming up, three independent business owners who are